I was interested to chair this review group for two quite different reasons. The first is that I've been very privileged to receive prizes over the years from the RSC. The other perspective is that for many years I've been advocating for greater diversity in the way that we work. I think the RSC has a great opportunity to expand the breadth of the way it recognises people, both individuals and teams, because of course increasingly science is done in teams. Success is about much more than how many papers have you published, how many citations have you got, what's your H index, how big is your research group. Success is much more about what have you contributed to society, to the people who work with you. The whole question of diversity and of what we mean by success I think is, is very high on the agenda right now. We're all trying to understand workplace cultures and how to improve workplace cultures. And so this is, this is the right moment for the RSC to ask these questions. One of the major recommendations of the review is that we should be recognising educators, teachers, whether in schools, colleges, universities. The impact of a prize on somebody's career is huge. When you get a significant prize, suddenly new opportunities open up and it changes your whole perspective, it changes the opportunities you have. So historically, prizes have been seen as a one-way transaction. It's important that it's seen that the recipient has responsibilities. So when you receive a prize, you should give something back, whether it's lecturing, whether it's mentoring, uh, whether it's going to meeting young people and inspiring them. We're very keen to recognise people at all career stages, to recognise unconventional career paths and roles that are frequently overlooked, like technicians. It's important that above all we recognise scientific excellence, whether it's in research or in teaching. Excellence is crucial. As science becomes more multidisciplinary, then there is an opportunity for the RSC to recognise contributions that come from other disciplines, but which reinforce and support chemistry. I would like to think that in five years' time, we will be recognising a far broader range of achievement, uh, and not only the RSC, but that other societies will also have benefited from the thinking that we have put into this over the last year or so.